In July, NASA released the first images from the James Webb Space Telescope. The run on new discovery started immediately. It took only a few hours for the world of science to turn upside down. A researcher from Harvard University had looked to the edge of time and discovered something monstrous. Since then, the old guards of astronomy hang in the balance and researchers look strained and anxiously towards new discoveries. Either something was not completely correct with past measuring techniques, or we must renew our conceptions of the cosmos completely. So, it's going to get pretty exciting in this video. We'll take a look at the telescope's grandiose launch and the unbelievable consequences. But before we do, we'd like for you to contribute to our channel. You can do so. You can do that easily by leaving us a valuable and engaging comment. From now on, the contributions of our subscribers will always get a heart. We'll also pin your important comments comment to the top so that everyone reads it first. Just make sure you've already subscribed, like the video, and mention both at the beginning of your comment. We start now with a young astronomer's discovery that will very likely change the world forever. Rohan Naidu's Incredible Discovery Rohan Naidu is a junior astronomer at the famed University of Harvard. The evening that would change everything for this young man was ordinary at first. Naidu had spent a beautiful day with his girlfriend and had just arrived home when his computer reported something incredible. He had developed a very special algorithm that he used to examine the first image published by NASA. Using mathematical formulas, the program searched for the oldest light in the data from the deep field image. Images taken of the cosmos always show light that has traveled through the vastness of space to reach us. Light that has been traveling to us for six billion years shows us the imprint of a world as it looked six billion years ago. The closer an object is to the Earth, the younger the light is, and the closer to the present, the existence and the position of the celestial body is. The deep field image shows us, therefore, not only celestial bodies, but represents also a view into the past. The oldest objects or light rays on this image are red. The somewhat younger and closer ones are orange. Then come yellow spots and finally blue or white ones. Naidu's algorithm looked for the red spots and there especially for the oldest light rays. On that history-making evening in July 2022, the program reported finding a galaxy that became known as Glass Z13 and made the world of science tremble. The Impossible Galaxy it was clear that a new era would dawn with the James Webb Telescope. That's what the researchers hoped for. With James Webb, they hoped to get closer to the Big Bang than ever before. The telescope's output goes back about 13.5 billion years, and the Big Bang is said to have occurred 13.8 billion years ago. It was clear that James Webb's scope couldn't quite see all the way to the Big Bang, but would have to be pretty darn close to that event. With Glass Z13, a ready and on top of it very luminous galaxy appeared, which already existed at a time in which, according to previous assumptions, when there should have been only single stars, which slowly came together to galaxies. Therefore, something was not right. Glass Z13's age was estimated at 13.4 billion years. Thus, this galaxy already existed 400 years after the Big Bang. Physicists and astronomers calculated that the universe originated from a single starting point. With an event that we know today as the Big Bang, the total potential concentrated at one point began its unfolding. The ideas and models about this process were very exact. Already in the first second after the Big Bang, the four fundamental forces of strong interaction, weak interaction, electromagnetic interaction, and gravitation were formed. The universe was a hot and dense primordial soup in which primordial particles occurred in a chaotic state. Within the first three minutes, however, the universe must have cooled down already so far that the primeval forms of helium and hydrogen were formed. But only after 400,000 years, the universe was cool enough to form elementary particles capable of bonding. According to these models, the first stars appeared 150 million years after the Big Bang. 
These first stars are said to have been true giants of helium and hydrogen, and their lifetimes were probably very short. Such giant stars, of the so-called third generation, attached themselves sometimes to gigantic structures, which were formed by dark matter. And thus, first proto-galaxies or gas clusters are supposed to have developed. Only when heavy elements appeared in space, stars gained mass and thus gravitational forces. Thanks to gravity, proto-galaxies merged with large galaxies, and over a period of about 1 billion years, the globular clusters, spiral-arm galaxies, or disk galaxies, may have formed galaxies as we know them today. With the discovery of glass C13, this model was abruptly destroyed. Because a galaxy of this mass, this order and luminosity should not have existed 400 million years after the Big Bang. Initially, there was still hope that Naidu's algorithm was wrong, but not all researchers hoped for an error, because the Big Bang theory has meanwhile also many opponents. More and more indications, or even proof, speak to the fact that our universe is structured in truth completely differently and also its beginnings were different than assumed so far. Shortly after Naidu's discovery, new galaxies appeared almost daily and they became older and older. Glass C13 was therefore not an isolated case, but only one of many. Proponents of the Big Bang Theory have experienced one or two sleepless nights since last summer. Everything they had believed in so far could now prove to be wrong. The Mystery of Dark Matter Reconstructions of the beginning of the cosmos are based, to a large extent, on realizations of exotic physics. This is precisely where some researchers see the problem. This branch of astrophysics deals with dark matter or negative matter, and from exactly these forces, we know up to now only very little. About the interactions and feedback between starlight, gas, and dust, there were so far more theories and hardly founded knowledge. Somehow, the assumptions and calculations fit together until James Webb came along. Actually, this branch of physics also hoped to finally learn more about the phenomena underlying the Big Bang and the beginnings of the universe by looking through the telescope to the cosmic dawn. Now these researchers had to realize that James Webb had provided them with quite different food for thought. In short, the results mean that the Big Bang never existed at all, that it took place at a different time than previously assumed, or that the processes of the beginning of the universe took place completely differently than scientists imagined and calculated so far. Soon, still another galaxy appeared at the edge of the universe known so far, which turned previous assumptions completely on their head. Seer 1749 became known as the Schrodinger Galaxy. This galaxy is also one of the oldest and not a Big Bang conform galaxy. But Sears 1749 has another special feature. The galaxy is in a direct cosmic environment in which the surrounding celestial bodies show an age, which does not fit to Sears 1749. This galaxy had already existed 200 million years after the supposed Big Bang and seems to be somehow also from another time. Are red light shift errors to blame? The appearance of the enigmatic Schrodinger's galaxy, which got its nickname from the quantum experiment Schrodinger's cat, cast doubt on the accuracy of previous measurement methods. At present, the measuring methods are checked worldwide, but so far, it looks as if the measuring methods are correct. And in the meantime, even older galaxies have appeared. Red shift is the shift of spectral lines to longer wavelengths as an object moves farther away. In astronomy, the red shift is denoted by a dimensionless quantity z. z equals zero corresponds to the present. If the value increases for objects in deep space, their distance and our look-back time also increase. Hubble was able to find a single galaxy with a redshift of 11. Redshift 11 tells us that this galaxy is 13.4 billion years old. The Big Bang is said to have occurred 13.8 billion years ago. For a long time, the galaxy discovered by Hubble was considered the oldest, and now Webb brings to light dozens of other and even older galaxies. The oldest galaxies discovered in the meantime have incredible values of 20 z. Long-term observations with the Atacama Large Millimeter Array, or the ALMA telescope in Chile, could confirm Webb's data in the meantime. Currently, Astronomers are desperately trying to fit Webb's observations into various cosmological models. Only time will tell if they will succeed. The findings are still too recent to draw definite conclusions. It all began with a mistake. 
A first image of this type actually came about through a mistake in 1995. U.S. astronomer Robert Williams had a Hubble contingent that year that he could use for himself and his work. The astronomer decided to point the telescope at a comparatively empty spot in the constellation of the Big Dipper. That Hubble's observing time was scarce, expensive, and in hot demand. Researchers worldwide shook their heads at how Williams let a quasi-empty space in the cosmos be studied by the world's most expensive and best telescope. Hubble took 10 consecutive days of images. Experts predicted that this observation would reveal at best a handful of faint galaxies, and Williams was on the verge of losing his job because of his extravagant request. But then, the miracle happened. Due to the lack of luminous stars and galaxies in the foreground, light from much older stars and galaxies came through in the image. The Hubble Deep Field showed that the supposedly empty spot was filled with thousands of galaxies up to 12 billion years old. For the first time, researchers saw so far into space, and a whole new way of observing the cosmos was born. It was then that researchers came up with the idea of constructing a new telescope. With a new space telescope, they wanted to look even deeper into space, and even further back in time. Well, that has been achieved today, less than 30 years later, and we are only at the beginning of the James Webb mission. So it will remain exciting, and we can be curious what secrets the telescope will still reveal. Tell us now what you think about this development. Do you care whether there was a Big Bang or not? Or are you one of those people who desperately want to know where and when the universe began? And of course, whether it will have an end? Let us know, and remember to mention in your comment that you've subscribed so we can consider it accordingly. We thank you for watching and look forward to seeing you back at Simply Space soon.